Today, I'll show you how to set up webhook buttons in Notion and connect them to make automations that run on demand. I'll start with a blog database that contains notes like a title, keywords, and a summary. The webhook button will trigger an automation that uses this data to generate a blog post with Gemini AI. Because while I could do that with Notion AI, that costs money. And the Gemini API is free, unless you're making dozens of requests a minute. First, open up your Notion database, add a new property, and choose button as the type. Name your button something descriptive. I'll call this create blog draft. Now you have to choose what the button does. Select send webhook. The first piece of information you will need is the webhook URL. This is where Notion will send the request when you click the button. We can get the webhook URL from Make. Open up Make and create a new scenario. For your trigger module, choose webhooks, then select custom webhook. Click add to create a new webhook. Give it a clear name like Notion blog webhook. Click save to create your webhook. Your webhook is now live and listening for requests, and you can click here to copy its URL. Back in Notion, paste the webhook URL into the URL field. Now this content section is crucial. Here, you can determine what data gets sent along with your webhook. Just use these checkboxes to select the individual properties you want to include or add them all at once. You can also add other actions to buttons too, like updating properties or showing confirmations, but for now, we'll keep this simple and stick with the webhook. Click Save to finish setting up your button. Time to test out the webhook. In Make, right-click on your webhook module and choose Run This Module Only. Back in Notion, click your webhook button on any record. Switch over to Make again. You should see the webhook data appear, including all the properties you configured. Perfect, our webhook is working. Now we can add modules to process this Notion data and send it to any other app. Whichever app you're sending your Notion data to, just configure the necessary settings. For this AI prompt, that means picking a model and writing a prompt. I'll be sure to insert the data passed over by the webhook, like the working title and summary. Note that you might need to dig into sublevels in Make's data structure to find exactly what you want. The webhook sends everything over in a nested array format. I'll just add one more step that creates a draft in my Webflow site using Gemini's output as the body and some data from Notion as the title and summary. Now we're all set. Save your scenario and turn it on to start using it. Now, whenever you click on the webhook button in Notion, the automation will run instantly. No waiting for polling intervals, no wasted credits checking for new records every five minutes.